So, how do you get your Steam hacked by Russian scammers? Well, before I show you, let's hear how my conversation with them ended. Putin? 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 Yeah. What Putin? A big fan. <laughs> McDonald's <laughs> bad. Hello, dura, nahu. Какой Москва, блядь? Hello, ulu. Поезд Москва, Владивосток. До свидания. <laughs> well, if you get a scammer, you gotta troll them. But our story begins in a game of Counter-Strike. You get invited by these pro players who want you on their team. Now, obviously, if you play a game for a long time, you know that that's not gonna happen. But that's what they're counting on, and eventually they're going to invite you to Discord. Now, they're going to use their voice, and these people were very good. The wrong Leo. <laughs> Hello, brother. They didn't have any weird accents or anything, so social engineering was on point, and they wanted me to join their group in Steam, so we could talk and we could communicate and we could play together. Now, once you get on the Discord, they start messaging you and eventually they're going to send you a link or a gaming hub or a group to join. Now, the thing is, this is a totally legit website. They want you to join a group on Faceit and Faceit is a third-party client that a lot of Counter-Strike players use to play competitively. So this is not some odd site, but the trick is eventually, once you get in, once you try to join, they're going to get you onto a third-party site. But this is where the real trick begins. They want you to join a hub that's going to open a link to sign in via Steam. And that link uses a very impressive visual technique to get you to think you're signing into Steam officially when you're actually signing on to a fake site that's going to give them all your login credentials. But to you, the browser window looks just like the official Steam browser window and all the usual checks, like for example, if you look at the URL bar to see if the link is valid, SSL encrypted, if it's got HTTPS and if it's the official steamcommunity.com website, all of those checks are passed. As you can see, we can click on the link. There's a nice lock next to it. This looks just like the Steam sign-in window. If you sign into Steam normally, this is exactly what it looks like. But the trick is this whole thing is a visual trick. It's not a separate browser window. It's just an element inside of this fake website. So while you think you're opening a separate window and signing into Steam, you're actually just clicking on an element inside their website. Quite impressive, isn't it? And once you click the login button, it's going to redirect you to Steam. You think you've logged in, but actually you've just given the attackers your credentials and now they can hack your account. Now, one of my friends who's very tech savvy, one of our Discord community members, our mods actually got hacked using this technique or something similar. And I suddenly started getting messages from him inviting me to things which would obviously get my account hacked as well. So recently I started getting these strange messages from one of my my friends on Steam and I was like what is this about especially when he started talking about his girlfriend I knew this was definitely not him and some kind of AI bot and then of course lo and behold there is some form of scam link that's being sent where he's like asking me to vote for something but obviously when you go into the site you're gonna be asked to sign in so if we open this player vote it's gonna try to steal your Steam tokens when I message him on discord about this he's like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> and this is a member of our community who is very knowledgeable on tech and cybersecurity. So this can literally happen to anyone. And this is how a lot of it works. It's not even you being contacted by some random entity. You might be contacted by your friend who is already hacked. And if a TPSC mod can get hacked, someone who is into tech, who lives and breathes video games and cybersecurity, it can happen to anyone. So now the question becomes, well, why do they want to hack your Steam account? In order to find the answer, I pulled up my instance of Flare, which allows me to search the dark web. And one of the first things I found when I was searching for items related to steamcommunity.com in dark web forums is this very interesting post selling over $300,000 worth of Counter-Strike skins. These are in-game items, and that's how much they're worth. And you might be wondering, well, where did they get all these in-game items? Probably from hacked accounts. And now they're gonna sell it on the dark web for PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, or crypto. And this is just a huge underground market that exists that incentivizes people to hack Steam accounts. As you can see, there's another Russian name posting on a forum. We can keep going on and on. There's just a lot of items over here. People offering to sell a Steam account for $800. So there's real money being made from your Steam account. Not to mention if you have funds in your wallet that can also be sold. So there's a very real financial incentive here. It's not just about, you know, the lols or like getting you hacked or messing with your friends. Although I guess that happens too. Again, just like ransomware, we're talking about organized crime here. 
it's no joke. Now, if you're concerned about your data being potentially leaked on the dark web, you can check out the sponsor of this video, Flare. It's a really easy to use platform. You can go into their global search and literally type in anything you want. You could type in your email address. For example, if this was my email address, I could just do a search for it. And then it's gonna tell me if it's been exposed on the dark web and if it's being sold. My password's out there and you can rank order by severity. You can also decide um, to show things that you haven't looked at before. You can also kind of categorize by things on illicit networks. Like if your company email is in some ransom leak or infected device log. So if an info stealer runs on your system, it typically sends a log of that. And that log can be on the dark web. So you can search for things like that to see if you've ever been infected by an info stealer. It's a really useful tool if you're an organization and you're looking to see if there's any kind of attack surface that you haven't considered. Some of your employees who might be compromised, it's a great way to do that. They support a lot of our content, so show them some love. Once again, the link is going to be in the description. And of course, thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.